Pope Francis's papacy of the Catholic Church threatened by free-for-all in the Vatican after Benedict's death. Vatican watchers believe conservative critics will take aim at Pope Francis, who will be equally encouraged to carry out radical reforms. The death of the former Pope Benedict XVI could spark a free-for-all in the Vatican with division intensifying between the factions of the Roman Catholic Church. This is what experts are saying. Benedict's death announced on New Year's Eve came almost a decade after he stood down as Pope for health reasons, the first to resign since Gregory XII in 1415. This brought in Pope Francis, seen as by many as a more socially progressive and radical head of the Vatican. However, his attitudes have angered the more conservative figures within the Roman Catholic Church. As a result, some experts say Benedict's death could see this divide widen as varying factions grapple for influence. Sandro Magister, a long-standing expert on the Vatican, believes that the death of Benedict could see Francis follow his own footsteps and resign from the papacy, a previously almost unheard of move, until Benedict did it in 2013. He also warned of intensified division within the church, telling the Times, now there's likely to be a free-for-all without any clear guidelines. We are in a phase of confusion now, the opposite of the clear, limpid, rational thought of Pope Benedict. Giuseppe Rusconi, a leading Vatican journalist, said, Benedict's formerly known uh, as Joseph Ratzinger will, will embolden conservatives within the Roman Catholic Church. He said, the conservatives have been weakened by Ratzinger's death, but they will now feel authorized to be more openly critical of Pope Francis, while Francis will no longer feel overshadowed by Pope Benedict and, are free to, and be free to cross the new boundaries in his reforms. A break has been removed both as regards to conservatives' criticisms and the radical equality of Francis' reforms. The more conservative cardinals within the Catholic Church may struggle to elect a pope more to their liking, however. Of the 132 cardinals aged under 80 and therefore able to vote, 83 were appointed by Francis. So that's the majority, obviously. More conservative-leaning cardinals are also set to lose their voting rights this year. Mr. Rusconi believes Francis will conclude, will continue his progressive streak. He wants to continue his work of making the church more acceptable to the contemporary world, an operation not without risk. The expert added that Benedict's departure from the papacy in 2013 could encourage Francis to do the same in the future. He continued, it diminished the sac uh, sacrality of the figure of the Pope as it had been handed down through the centuries. For a Catholic, it's not easy to accept the idea that the vicar of Christ on earth can become a pensioner like any other uh, office worker. Mr. Magister, however, thinks Francis would be unlikely to step down anytime soon. He said his resignation is more practicable now, but I don't see it as imminent. His activism is remarkable for a man of his age. His di diary is packed with engagements. While Francis seems to have a good level of control over the future of the Roman Catholic Church, another expert believes the conservative faction is already trying to ensure that they can influence the succession. Robert Mickens, editor-in-chief of La Croix International, said, I know conservatives are working right now trying to influence the succession. Bergoglio, that is Pope Francis, has opened a Pandora's box with synodality, that is increased democratic debate, and conservatives are alarmed that it could result in radical changes that cannot be undone. And this is... Uh, on Express UK by Charlie Bradley. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.